So good morning, it's Rita with Everything Homemade and it is six o'clock in the morning and in this video, I'm going to explain how we milk our milk cows from the second day all the way to the third or fourth weeks. Right after that 24 hours after birth and from the third to the fourth weeks of the first month. As you can see here, Zazu is nice and relaxed. Mama is right there just behind that tree and you can look at her udder. Look how lopsided she is. Um, you can see that right in front here she's much higher and then she is so full Ocean on the other side, isn't she? Yeah. And, and once again Ocean is here with me and we are ready to milk these girls, aren't we? Yes. But first before we get in here, um, to milk. I'm going to just talk a little bit about how we are going to milk before we get her in the stanchion. What we're going to do is the first month we even the udder out. So which means that when we take her in to the stanchion clover there, we're going to see which teats Zazu has drank and which teats Zazu has not drank. And we're either going to milk all of them if they're all super full or just the ones he hasn't drank. Which then evens out her udder so therefore mastitis never happens. Now I don't care at this point how much milk we get at all because the calf is the most important and his health is important and if we get a half a gallon this morning great if we get a gallon awesome if we get a gallon and a half to two gallons wonderful if we only get a quarter of a gallon it doesn't matter what matters is her udder is evened out and doesn't have so much milk in it that it's going to cause mastitis and that the calf can't latch on so that's what we do is that general maintenance for the first month because the calf needs everything um, from mom to grow healthy and strong. We don't do any locking up the first month at all. We just um, completely calf share with the calf. So Ocean, while Zazu is quiet there, um, why don't you go grab him? Now Zazu is a week old. And he is now a little bit on the feisty side in the morning. He likes to have a rodeo, so we'll hopefully be able to get him. Ocean's just going to grab a lead here at first. So what's important is to get the calf in with mom. That teaches the calf the halter breaking and just in general respect for the lead. As you can see, our two milk cows there, they're ready to go. Clover is definitely ready. She knows what's happening here. And to get Zazu here first because otherwise he will jump away and then won't be able to grab him. So the other thing is if you are solo, you can also start grabbing the calf before daylight happens. When you grab the calf when it's dusk or a little bit dark, the calves are sleeping still so you're not chasing. Right? Yeah. Um, even at lockup, that's one tip as well if you're watching this video. Um, even at night when you want to do separate calf from mom, do it when it is dark because it is easier to grab the calf. You don't want to be chasing around. So Ocean, um, let's grab, get Zazu in. We, we do this first because if we do mom first, Zazu wakes up and good luck catching the calf. So as you can see, she's pushing on the bum because we don't want to be pulling on the neck. So I'm going to interrupt this video for just a moment to tell you all about the sponsor, Grub Boots. They are actually a UK company coming to Canada and they would like to give you an opportunity to get a free pair of boots. Plus, they sent me a pair just to try out to, to see how they would handle in the Canadian environment. As I unpacked these boots, I really noticed 
how much different the material is on these boots compared to competitors. A lot of competitors have this hard plastic. Well, this is actually rubber and the grip on it is amazing. That blew me away how grippy they are. Plus back to this rubber, rubber is better here because it doesn't crack in our northern environment in the cold. Plus it's reinforced in areas and need to be reinforced. So first off, I already noticed, hey, this is a good quality boot. Then I slipped them on and that's when I went, whoa, I wasn't prepared for that. They're so roomy for my stubby white feet. I always have problems finding boots and I need orthotics so I put my orthotics in it to see how they would fit with the soles and they fit so good my toes weren't cramped there's so much room but not too crazy where they're sloppy they're so super comfortable actually it took me off guard because it's so hard to find a pair of boots that I was shocked for how comfortable they are that I felt almost like dancing my feet just felt so good in these boots so now I really want to take them to the test it's pouring rain today and so I want to put these boots to the ultimate test splash in some water do some chores and see how these boots perform As I was feeding the cows, man, again, comfort, comfort. Oh, they're so comfortable. And so I wanted to test out that grip. I just played in the mud and I can feel that grip gripping into that mud. I mean, you're not gonna fall flat on your face. It was really awesome. Then I went through a big puddle, a slippery spot here with the cows. Man, it just gripped so well. So two thumbs up for that grip. These boots are waterproof. They're comfortable and they have so much good grip. So I would highly recommend them. Plus the price is right. Their prices are way more affordable than, than their competitors. So I would definitely check out Grub Boots at rainboots.ca. And as for the contest, if you want a free pair, give me a heartwarming comment in the comment section below. And at the end of July, I will definitely be doing a draw and I will post the winner on a YouTube video then. So once again, you won't be disappointed if you order from Grub Boots, go to rainboots.ca. To teach him to walk, to teach him to walk, we just kind of push on their bum, work with the lead. They're going to be a little bit, a little bit feisty, but that teaches them um, to follow the lead instead of yanking at their their necks. We don't want to be doing that. Even though there's a collar on, you do not want to be yanking at their throat. But that nice little tug at the bum works just fine. And you can see here he's pulling a bit. This is the stage he's at. This is the stage he's at. He's like, I don't like this. I'm a little bit feistier than, than when I was 24 hours old, but he relaxes really quick. Give him a little bum push. There you go. Get him in that corner where, where he knows and he will relax. So we're going to bring in the moms. We got, we're got we milking two cows, Chia and Clover. So we're going to bring in another calf and Chia, but I'm going to focus on Clover um, because you can really see what I'm talking about because her udder is so big. Once they know how to go in, they go in really well and Clover knows exactly what's happening. 
and she's got some treats. She has some melon today, so we are treating with what today, Ocean? Watermelon and some kale. Watermelon and some kale. Again, we are part of a loop program, so we get um, grocery waste, so all their produce once a week, so we do treat with that. Treat with whatever you have. Just remember, if you treat with grain, you don't want to overdo it, as they can get a grain belly or a belly ache from that. Make sure you do give baking soda out. Um, free it so they don't um, create so much acid in their belly so we do this is what we do because this is what we have access to so ocean is just going to get clover ready here again I showed this on the other video but we'll do it again we always hobble um, so that way the legs can't go over the board and uh, and this is a safety precaution so sh no cows can kick out and hurt us so we got the hobble on now ocean's gonna put the board and this board is a kick board um, and it prevents the cow from kicking you or kicking the milk bucket um, all that kind of stuff this is this I will never ever milk it I say this again without this board so that board goes in and once she has treats she'll go forward a bit and that udder will hang on the other side of the board and now we have the safety in place there's a different angle for you with that board in place with the stanchions. So all our stanchions have this. Now as she gets the milking, let's go over her udder. Okay, so what I am looking for for even things out is I am touch the udder and go, holy man, she is tight here. I mean, you can tell she is tight. You know, you can just look at it right so this quarter definitely we have to milk this morning this quarter we definitely have so on this side I mean we're milking these two quarters so let's take a look on the other side of her udder here and I apologize that it's a little dark I don't this is just how the our milk par, parlor is right now we don't really have any lighting in here um, and you can see the difference I'm gonna touch this and you can see how much looser it is look at that so Zazu has definitely been drinking out of this teat let's take a look at the back same thing you can see how floppier it is um, even by touch oh over this like you can see how tight this side is so if we would leave this side here we would be in big big trouble she would start getting red it would get hot and it would start filling up so much that these quarters would definitely get mastitis so ocean you are milking um, these two um, this side which I usually sit if I'm milking, so we call this my side, um, has definitely been drank. Okay. So unless when we start milking here, she does her letdown and really fills up her back or one of these, we will not touch these at all. Um, and again, we are evening out the udder for the safety of the mom so she doesn't get sick and if these fill up so much Zazu won't be able to latch on and drink them anyway so we'll probably get about a gallon of milk this morning and uh, and that's all we do and then after when we're done milking we will take mom out we will take Zazu and they have the whole day together and we do this every single morning for the first month this is what we do and I call it evening out the udder the next video after this, I'll show you how we milk from the second month to the third month because we do something a little bit different and we still cow, we still calf share. Um, but I'll show you how we do do that, where we want a little bit more milk, but we still make sure that the calf is getting enough as well. So if you have missed the first video in this series, definitely check out the description box below. The link will be there for the first video of what we do for the first 24 hours. Explain to you how we um, take care of our udder in that first 24 hours, what's important, how um, we work with the calf, all that kind of really important information. The other thing is I'd like to note is if you watch that video, this is only a week after. Look how much calmer she is. 
She's not kicking her feet. Her hormones are level is going down and she is a much nicer cow to milk. Isn't she ocean? Oh, yeah. So much nicer and, and so much more relaxed. So don't give up on your milk cow when her hormones are high and I show and that's why I filmed that first 24 hours because it is like we're milking a different cow now um, than than it was that just after she gave birth so definitely check out that video also check out our website at everything homemade.com you'll see that we sell um, starter cultures we have sourdough culture rice rice brown rice sourdough cultures greek yogurt and buttermilk remember the greek yogurt is your thermophilic culture for making cheese and your buttermilk culture that i sell is your mesophilic culture for making cheese as well so definitely um, check out the website you'll also see some garden seeds you'll see my cookbooks you'll see coconut and chocolate treats so check that all out um, subscribe to that website for for notifications to keep you up to date so I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and I sure hope you have a wonderful time milking your milk cow with calf sharing um, for this first month just remember to always stay calm work with your animals and give them lots of love thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video